your business. Now I typically recommend that you use a different email address than your personal account for Twitter just because it's nice to have um, a different um, email address associated for strictly all business purposes. That way you can have your personal Twitter account where you talk about personal things and your business one is all focused on the goals and the brand of the business. Gmail is one of the accounts I usually recommend but you can use any other um, email platform out there. If you already have a Twitter account you use for personal needs, make sure you click on the gear in the top right and you sign out before you go to this next step for setting up the business page. So once you're signed out, um, you're going to want to go to twitter.com forward slash sign up. So type that in in the browser and it's going to bring you to this page. From here, we're going to want to add our information. Your username is how people are going to recognize you in Twitter. It's your Twitter handle, if you will. So I'm going to be a real estate agent in this situation, and I'm going to go with Homes Mid TN. And it looks like that is available. We want to see all three checks green over here before moving forward. If you want to keep it signed in to your account on Twitter on this computer, we can check that. I'm going to uncheck it just since I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. And then I do think it's nice to keep this one checked where it says Taylor Twitter messages um, based on my activity on websites. So if everything looks good, name, email address, password, username, um, then we're ready to move forward. Now just to mention, all of these are items we can change once we get into the platform as well. So I'm going to click create my account and it wants me to verify that I am human so I'm going to type in this information here and I know it's kind of difficult to see I'm not even quite certain what that is um, but if this is not correct I'm sure it will give us a second chance to try. Looks like we need that second chance. So let's kind of look through it. Hopefully this will get it this time. Awesome, and here we are. Now in certain browsers, I'm using Google Chrome, it'll give you the opportunity to save the password um, for this, this platform for Twitter in this browser. I'm just going to click X, but it's totally up to you. The next thing we're going to do is hit this button and begin setting up our profile. So just hit Next. Twitter wants you to go ahead and start following a couple people, so it's going to bring up some suggestions here. You can unfollow these people as soon as we get the profile set up, but for now, just pick um, five. It doesn't really matter who they may be. And then hit the Next button. And as I mentioned, we can definitely go back and unfollow any of these, so you don't have to feel like um, if you don't want your business associated with one of these um, celebrities. You don't have to feel like you're you're stuck with that. This is just for setup purposes. We're going to hit next here. If you want to import your contacts from Gmail or Yahoo or Outlook just so that you can connect with people you already know, it gives you the option here to search your contacts. I'm going to just hit skip, but that's really a nice feature to offer and I would recommend you do that starting out. I've set up a demonstration email account so I don't have any contacts in there right now for us to search. Once we get on this page, we're going to want to fill out a little bio, and keep in mind this is for the business, and upload an image that we want associated as our icon. So the first thing, again, I'm going to be a real estate agent, so for my bio, I'm going to put helping middle TN families buy and sell homes. Call to learn more, and maybe I'll put a phone number in here. And then we also want to upload our image. And this can either be a headshot or maybe you want to use a logo. Um, whatever it is, click the upload, find on your computer where you have your image, and then just upload that. And then once you have that done, and I know it looks a little confusing because we can't see it here, but we just want to hit the done button. And then it's going to take us to the next page. So we can see here, here's our picture. We're going to have the opportunity to update our background image in just a minute, um, as well as the opportunity to update this image. You can see it's got our handle right here, so homes at mid in is how we're going to be recognized on Twitter. But one thing before we move forward I want to mention is this confirm your email address. So what we want to do is go back to our email account, 
and I'm using a, G a new Gmail account. And Gmail is divided into three different sections, primary email, social communications, and then promotions. Your Twitter message is going to fall under social, so click the middle tab if you're using Gmail. Click the message from Twitter where it says confirm your message. It looks like Gmail may be having some issues, but we're going to just see if it will work anyhow and click confirm. And it looks like we are confirmed and we're ready to go. So our next step is updating this account so that it looks like your, your business that's branded to your business. Anytime you see a gear, typically that will lead you to settings. So we're going to scroll to the gear in the top right, click on it, and then scroll down to settings. This is a key piece of the platform of Twitter. Over on the left hand side here you'll see key navigation for your settings. We're right now in this account feature. This is our username. If we ever want to change that, we have the ability to change that. This is the email address associated with the account, which we can change. The time zone, let's change that to central. And we can just look to make sure everything else looks good. Everything, we're just going to leave it as it is. But I am going to click Save Changes. It makes me retype in my password since we're changing things in the setting, just so that it keeps the new time zone that we put in there. If you need it to update any of your security and privacy, you're going to find that here. If you want to update your password, of course it's over here. Um, and other notifications and just again work your way down. But what we want to go to next is the actual profile. So if you want to update your photo, this is one of the places you can access and do that. And all you do is click change photo and you can remove it. You can upload a new photo or you can take a photo if you have a camera in your, in your um, computer. The other thing we want to look at is header. This is the header up here. And we do want to change this. This is a great place to have something branded for your business. It tells you right here the dimensions. They need to be 1500 by 500, or you can double that if you want to make sure you have a nice crisp image. But I'm going to click Change Header. And I'm going to find where I've got an image that's already saved to the correct specifications. Click on it. This is your sliding. Um, a scale right here that can zoom in and zoom out, but we're, since it's already cut to the right size, I'm just going to keep it exactly as it was and hit apply. And it's going to upload that image and you can see your photos and have all been uploaded. Even though you can't see it here, it should be added and when we um, verify in just a minute we'll make sure. If you want your name to be something different or shown different here, you can type it in. But you are limited to your character, so you see I can't write Carla Peppas real estate agent. Um, but so we're just going to leave it at Carla Pepis. Location, if I want to put Nashville, TN, if I have a website I want to put, let's say we want to do Homes Mid TN, if that's the website. And this is also where you can re-edit that bio that we did at the beginning. So let's say you want to make changes to it, this is where you're going to go in and, and make those edits. Keep in mind you only have 160 characters. This helps count down for you how much you have left. So you'll see now we dropped to 81. But this is where you can update that. And you do have the ability to connect to Facebook. I wouldn't recommend that right now just because most people are going to be more active on Facebook um, and we'll, I'll show you an app here at the end where you can make your Facebook messages go to Twitter but what this is doing is making your Twitter um, post or your tweets actually go to your Facebook page. So since we've made several changes here let's hit save changes at the bottom and you'll notice now we see that header that we uploaded um, and all that information over here. The next thing we want to do is click on design. From here you can see where we've got this cloud background um, as our background but Twitter will give you a couple of options that you can just pick from, some generic ones. But I personally prefer a solid color and the reason is because, I'm just going to click here for just a minute, they have, Twitter has recently made updates to their platform and your main um, page of your information has got this big header image now. And so I think it can look a little bit cluttered if you have a, a big design um, back on this page, your home page as well, which is really the page that you're seeing. So we're going to go back to settings. So click on the gear, settings. We're going to go back to design. And what I recommend you use is instead of using an image or uploading a new background image, 
What I would recommend we do is we just use a solid color. So I'm going to click on change background and I'm going to remove, this is going to remove the clouds. And then you can just leave this as it is now. Um, this makes more of a difference if you are uploading an image for this particular background. But we're going to change the color. So since I'm using kind of a, a red, you just click on the, the color section. This pops up. So I'm going to scroll and find maybe a red that I think looks nice and matches. And then your theme color is the color you see. You see how when I scroll over this, it turns that blue color? That's your theme color. So that, maybe we want that to be a red, or maybe you want it to be black or a gray. Let's do a gray. So you can see now when we scroll over these, how they become gray. So if everything looks good, the changes we made, we always want to click Save Changes, or else we'll have to go back and repeat the process. So now we've got our red background. And if you feel like, okay, this red's a little bit bright compared, you can see here the red we're using, no problem. Uh, again, all we do is go back, we click, scroll down to what's maybe a color you think is better matched, hit Save Changes, and then it's going to update. So see now we have a little bit more muted red so it matches a little bit better. If you do have any apps that you connect to your Twitter account, this is where you're going to see them. Um, of course, we don't right now. But again, just something else I want to mention while we're in the settings. So I'm going to click on the home right now. And there's two, there's really a couple different pieces when it comes to who you follow and who follows you back with Twitter. The first is people who you are following. So remember how we had to click on a couple initially? If you click followers, you'll see who you're following. Now let's say we don't want to follow these people. You can just click unfollow and you see how it unfollows. Ooh, that's definitely one we probably want to unfollow. Um, it unfollows these people who maybe at the beginning we follow. And let's say we want to keep this Nashville for free because that makes more sense. So you can see where it says we're only following one person now. Now let's see who's following us. We already have four followers. And these are kind of random people um, who probably are just looking to build their following list as well. So if you did want to follow someone back, let's say you're like, oh cool, you know, James looks cool, let's follow him back. We could hit following here and that means you're following people back. One strategy a lot of people use in order to build their followers is they go to other accounts, click follow, in hopes that that person will follow them back. And so you can see if they're following you, um, and, and that's again a way that people will go and try and build up their followers. One thing we could do is since we are real estate in Nashville, we're going to use Twitter search feature up here at the top, type in Nashville real estate, We'll find things related to that, and then we can follow these people. And of course, the goal is they will want to follow us back. It'll also show you posts and comments that have to do with the keyword you search for. So if we wanted to reply to them, we can hit reply. And the way you reply to things is with the at and then that ha handle, their Twitter handle. And you just type in your message, message here. And then once you finish putting your message, you hit the tweet button. If you want it to upload an image, you could click upload an image. If you want it to connect a location, you can connect a location. If you want it to retweet it, let's say you really liked this message and wanted to share it um, with your audience, you just click this retweet and then click, we'll just do it for a demonstration, click retweet there um, and it's going to go to your wall. I'll show you that in just a minute. And you can also click favorite if you really like a comment that they have. So now if we go back, I'm going to click on home we can see, we go to now click on our name, we can see the post that we retweeted it. If you want to create your own new tweet, over here on the right hand side, you're going to click on this compose tweet and we're going to say, hello, excited to be on Twitter. And click tweet there and it says your tweet was posted. And there's your message. One thing to mention, the more engaging a comment the bigger the font is on Twitter, it makes all of your initial comments with that big font so people can see it and know that it's fresh. But that's how once you start building up your, your commentary, you'll be able to see that the more popular, the more engaging, the more people that are um, replying, retweeting, favoriting your tweet, the larger that font is, which is great because then it grabs more eyes to continue to grow your um, activity.